Hey everyone, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. This is my part two of the best of compilation of my favorite clips from my audit videos. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy these. These are some of the ones that, after editing and after uh, viewing them and everything, these are some of the ones that made me laugh as, and just sometimes the education, I, it sinks in. And I'm like, damn, I can't believe I said all that. But anyways, these are some of my thumbnails that I included as well, right here for you guys can see uh, the videos that um, that are in these clips. Um, one thing I want to mention as well is I, I, I started a Patreon and uh, it's so that you guys can help support the movement, so help support, keep me on the road, educating my officials as well. Um, even a dollar a month would help, guys. Anything helps. Um, this is costly to do this. Equipment is costly. Time travel, everything. Uh, we took a trip to San Francisco recently and it cost me 350 bucks. My Patreon and GoFundMe links will be in the description and in the comments as well. Um, also, donate to your best, your favorite channels that you guys like as well. Thank you. I just want to say, uh, you guys, ha you guys have a really nice station here. All your officers are very cordial. Thank you guys. Thanks, man. All right, man. You guys have a great day. Be safe. Thank you. And the officer's already kind of stressed out because he has got the threat on his life. And this is the next morning. Here's somebody who's not following directions. You see where maybe it, just that stress might make the situation more dangerous. Dude, that, that officer at that moment should quit. Yeah? If he's not equipped to do the job, if he's too much of a pansy, he should That's give a, a pansy? he should drop his badge and quit and go home. Okay. Okay, so we can we can point out a whole bunch of small scenarios and look at no, isolated, that's, that's isol small. That's, isolated. That's okay, normal. okay. So let me let me let me put it like this in this context. Mm -hmm. That is an isolated incident. Okay, well, right I can or wrong. Tell you a lot of those. So it, okay, so we have isolated incidents. Mm -hmm. That's what that's all that is, bro. Just isolated incidents. But we what we have in America is the Constitution. It trumps all those isolated incidents. And no matter what happens in any of those isolated incidents, these constitutional rights need to stay intact. Well, if we don't, if we don't press, right okay, so you're, you're giving me scenarios of why, I'm why, saying, why police officers would fear the camera, right? Or fear us doing what we do, right? I you're would giving say me scenarios. You would definitely I'm following you along. You, I'm following you can you see along. where that would be stressful, not yeah, just to officers, but, but, but uh, that, anybody. If an officer is stressed, he should drop his badge and go home. What? You see that guys? He did the shoulder shrug. That was funny, huh? He's acting all bad for no reason. But they had to tell him to kick back. I'm just narrating. narrating. I'm not talking to you. Here, I don't want your card. Nah, hang on. You ain't checking nobody, brother. You ain't checking nobody today, man. Let me ask you this. Do you have anything illegal? You know what I'm saying? It's like... And it's discretion. When there's victimless crimes, you guys have discretion to let them go. Totally agree. And and when you guys, when you guys, when it becomes like, oh, and chinga, let's got, we gotta go get this person to put, to get more money or for a quota or whatever it is that we, you know that's what I mean? Problem. People think that we don't get quotas. Though. Okay, get okay, yeah, that's a bad stigma, right? But at the same time, people want promotions. You know what I'm saying? They they got their own personal feelings. Like you say, you're yeah, you're afraid, and those are personal feelings. You know, and that's not how. Um, policing should be. Policing has become a business, and that's exactly what it is. And Americans from, from sea to shining sea, they're understanding that. And folks are tired of it. Yeah. Hey, man, you, I'm sure you've been here longer than she has on the force, but she could train you on some things, man, and, 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 and some things. And, and, when, and when she does, and when she does, bro, respect that. Okay. Because she, she's, she's very cordial, she's very kind, man. And uh, what you were doing wasn't cool, and I don't appreciate that, bro. Okay. What's, what's your badge number? Valle? Via 43. Where are you guys right, going bro. now? Oh, hell, if I told you, come on, man. <laughs> you guys got to go hey, find us, girl. Have to ha get another call, go over there and be like, dude. I just want to say thank you. You're so very, very nice. And I'll shake your hand either way, man. Mm -hmm. hey, but just keep it cool. Come on, we yeah, all we'll all work together. First Amendment audits. Check it out. Right. You'd be enlightened. Oh, well, You'd I'm going to check it out yeah. now. You're sure. so cool. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Huh? Where are you guys parked at? Are you still with that kind of stuff, bro? Parked I, I parachuted in. Right? How's that sound? No, I just want to know you guys parked that because that's I, like our parking. I parachuted oh, no. in, brother. <laughs> just a word of advice. If you're going to be filming out No, TV, thank you. No, thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. No, no, thank yeah. you. you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Just let them know that you're No, thank you. No, thank you. What? We don't have to let nobody know where we're going. Common sense. That doesn't make no sense, though. Doesn't? You say common sense, I say it makes no sense. The police department and start taking filming. Absolutely, and brother. Know, hey, we're going to be out here filming. We don't have to. Well, I didn't say you had to. But 
if you don't want police coming out and being concerned about what's going on, it's probably a good idea to let them know. Hey, that. bro, that's your job to be concerned and, and, and to right. uh, have a threat assessment. Right, and then once, once you realize that the once you once you realize that the threat has been assessed, then you could be on your way. You're dismissed. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm sorry, I'm dismissed, and I'm on my way. <laughs> right. So type in First Amendment audits. Okay. This is Americans doing this, waking up from sea to shining sea. It started with a handful of people, and now it's doing with a lot a lot of people from this side to that side, and it's a true American spirit, bro. Almost first time in American history that Americans are collectively uniting. It doesn't say that um, that the public is not allowed. It's in. police personnel only, man. Just as well as the vehicles. Just, you guys just stand on the sidewalk and that'll be it. All right, man. That's Thank cool. Thank you, guys. All right. All right, but we'll look into it okay. either way to make sure that you know that. that but if uh, if you're wrong, then we'll be back. You can walk back there if you want. Okay. So you gotta say about it now. Did you get uh, educated today, sir? Not at all. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, you did. Um, well, first when he asked us to leave, and then um, actually, actually he he, he and then and, and yeah, right. And then uh, when I asked him, did you learn something today, sir? And he just said no. And then he just spit his sunflower seeds like, like <clears throat> it reminded me of a mob movie. Right? You know what I mean? Like the attitude of like a gangster or something. Okay. So if I see somebody spitting sunflower seeds out on the street, should I arrest them for littering? Dude, that's discretion. That's discretion. Victimless crime, right? Do you guys let everybody go? It is on a vic on a victimless crime, do you guys let everybody go? Not necessarily. Exactly, dude. So why should officers be let go when they do victimless crimes or whatnot? It's about time people start answering for the stuff okay. that if we gotta answer for the stuff that we do on an everyday basis then you guys should be held accountable to do the exact same. That's why we're here, man. Okay. Yes, sir? Yeah. Can I ask you what you're recording? You can ask. Well, videoing a, uh, a government building, just wondering for what purposes. Oh, uh, well, you can wonder. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm okay. guessing you guys don't have a public restroom, right? Public yeah. I know some police stations. What was that? Everywhere. No, but like inside the police station. Inside our police station? Yeah. No, it's a secured area, man, just for our safety. No, 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 no. Not in public. Not in the public lobby. Some some police stations do actually have a public restroom, though. Yeah, we don't, we don't have one, man. Yeah, okay. That was, just, that was my question, though. Yeah. Cool, cool. What are you guys recording for today? Uh, because I want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, man. Have a good day, dude. You too, brother. All federal installations, and you know we're supposed to have access to all so, documents man. regarding like where our you're taxes right. go you're to right. and stuff I'm like right. that. And right. we're just bringing the access back to where it needs to be, okay. all the way around. Dang, got superstars everywhere. <laughs> yeah, Ortega, Ortega, which we got superstars everywhere. <laughs> hey, can you pop a willy? <laughs> what are you trying to say? No recording is allowed here in the courthouse. In, in front of We're the, not in the courthouse. Though. I know, but it's part of the building. So right there, where your hand is waving, that's where you want us to not record. Yes, sir. The, the front of the building, you guys can record anywhere else. What's your name? That badge. Look at, look at, look at what's this. Look at that. These are not, these are not for public use, though. <laughs> what, are, uh, what, are, what are name tags for, though? For public use. <laughs> so why would you think me as a private me as a private way? Us as us as private citizens. We, the, the, the Constitution gives us our permission. The, the 2010 DHS memo is a notice to you guys. Our district will provide you documentation and then you when you come back. I have toilet paper already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I already have toilet paper. The policy does not trump the Constitution. Well, that, that, door swing, that door swings out, man, so I would be careful if I were you swinging that door out there like that. Perfect. You're kind of a big guy, too, so I'm sure you hold a lot of strength. So, um, so do we need to call um, that person in order to record here? Right here? Uh, you can ask her any questions you want. What if we don't want to? If you don't want to ask her, well, yeah. why are you guys helping? We don't need to ask her any questions. We oh, already okay. have all the answers we need. Okay. But did you learn something today? Uh, <laughs> did you learn something today? Man, I learned. Hey, man, can you answer this question that if that's a public sidewalk? 
Sorry, you need to go talk to my higher ups. Yeah, man, but what you did look kind of dangerous, man. And then you got an attitude about it. No, I don't have an attitude. Yeah, you I'm do, man. Work. Yeah, you do. Can I get your bad name and badge number since you had contact with me? What's your Oh, it's just we're just doing a story, bro. It's no big deal. There's no need to be worried. There's no will, ill intent. Yeah, there's. I mean, we're just doing a story in the courthouse. Story in the courthouse. Day to day operations. Like what? Like public interest. Individual First Amendment Protected activity You learning something today? Right here in Ar Arvin, California We're going to do a First Amendment audit But I thought I seen this uh, Little Caesars With that thing up there I thought I'd get that Because you don't see that often anymore <laughs> Little Caesars Pizza, pizza I can smile. Hey, and make sure you're you guys dismissed. Are safe. You're uh, dismissed. dismissed. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. Hey, give give him your stripes. Hey. And, and, and show the public, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, go inside and get pamphlets. Like, we don't we don't do that crazy stuff that this guy was thinking, man. Get your head straight. All right, get your head straight. <laughs> no, no, no. I suggest to avoid any no, no, no. to avoid conflict, to avoid any sort of unnecessary. Um, so what you, what are you asking me for? I'm asking you to not cause a scene and to Dude, she's the one yelling, bro. I'm Look at my voice. Not cause a scene. I'm talking about as low as you are. I'm asking you to not cause a she's scene. She's causing a scene. Will you stop interrupting, sir? I'm asking no, you. No, you stop to... interrupting. I'm gonna get my plan fixed. Shut up already. Look at it. It's open to the public right here, okay? See look at it. This is open to the public to get information. And these people are acting crazy. Look at my face. Finish melting, snowflake. So what? We're telling the same thing. They're just going to educate you. Are you done with your business here? They're just going to educate you. Are you done with your business here? I don't know. I still got 10 more minutes. At least. Are you guys conducting business, though? Yes. See? It's in my hand. Hey. Hey, business. It's in my hand. Yeah. Oh, shit. I just dropped my official business. Thank you, brother. Look at guys. This fucking Tracy Atkins official business. Oh uh, no, I went. I went over there on a uh, a public uh, area where it's uh, official business. Okay. I went to go get some information, and uh, we went in there, and the security just started acting a little bit nuts. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys can go educate them on the First Amendment. That's all, folks.